Well, let's close up with the really big one, the changes to the PFA. There's going to be more incentives for scoring outstanding. You have the opportunity to win an award if you get three consecutive. There's going to be some patches that can go on the track suit. Uh, scores are going to be documented, I think, in more detail and fit reps and evals so that beyond just pass fail, you see kind of where that sailor fell on the spectrum and changing the BCA, the way those things are looked at. So what do you hope this brings to the fleet, these changes? What I hope this brings is a culture of fitness instead of trying to get ready for <clears throat> PFA twice a year. And a lot of sailors have been doing some sort of dangerous things to get their weight down, get BCA right uh, for this once every, once every six months sort of thing. So what we're trying to do is get people to stay in shape all the time, all year round. We're sort of separating the BCA from the PFT. If you do well, you're going to get patches to, to go on that workout suit. And if you, if you have three in a row, you're going to have an award for, for, for doing that. It'll also go on your fitness report, as you, as you said. So it's not just pass-fail, it's, it's how well you do. And the final thing, we're going um, to have some spot checks so that it's not just um, the twice a year. We're going to keep doing it the twice a year, but we're going to have folks roll in and say, time for you to do a, a physical fitness test and, uh, you know, at a, at a random, random date. So it's not get ready for one, pass it, and then get out of shape, and then get ready again. It's going to be, be in shape all the time. That's what we need for everybody to do to do their jobs.